Carolyn and Curtis, the chief says he is taking these allegations very seriously, but he wants everyone to know that anyone can file a lawsuit at any time. That doesn't necessarily mean that the allegations are true. But yes, I have read it. I am aware of it. Um, obviously, these are very serious allegations, uh, and uh, we take them as very serious allegations. Hazel Park Police Chief Martin Barner talking about this a federal complaint filed on Friday. I think it's important that everybody understands before they rush to judgment that these are simply allegations and that anybody can file a federal lawsuit against anybody. The allegations, though quite disturbing, two women claimed they were stopped around 2 a.m. on June 5th while driving near northbound I-75 and 8 Mile in Hazel Park. The lawsuit alleges Officer Ryan McCabe asked one of the women to step out of the SUV they were in, then was, quote, directed to lean over the hood of the vehicle, pull up her shirt and bra, thereby exposing her breasts to those on the scene and to the traffic driving by on I-75 North and shake her breasts. According to the complaint, he ordered her to shake her breasts again harder before making the other woman do the same thing. Male officers do not pat down female prisoners or suspects under any circumstances. We tried to reach the women today and later got this statement from their attorney. Quote, I am very sorry, but I try not to litigate my client's cases in the press. It has the potential for unfairness to one side or the other, end quote. The chief says due to financial constraints, they don't have dash cams or body cams, so they don't have video to review. And as of now, Officer McCabe, who's been with the Hazel Park Police Department for two years and has a clean record, as well as the other officers involved who were not named in the lawsuit, are still on the job. We'll let the facts uh, lead us to, our, uh, to the appropriate conclusions. Again, the chief says there is an ongoing investigation right now and all the officers involved are still on the job. Of course, that could change depending on the outcome of the investigation. We're, li we're live outside of the Hazel Park Police Department. Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News. All right.